Hello guys, my name is Taylor Nikes. In today's video, we're gonna be testing out the performance of this Acer 95 in the app by the name of Adobe After Effects. So my laptop features i5 9300H, GDX 1050 and 16GB of RAM. The specs aren't the best, you probably have the 1650 version, which is around 40% faster than my GPU here. So you should just get the same or better performance on your AC 5 and without further ado, let's just go into the Adobe Premiere and just start doing the test. Alright, so let's hit a new project and uh, this is the new project. This is how it looks like and in today's video, I want to create something based on the footage, so let's just click on the new composition from footage and then let me get some footages from web by the way if you're looking for some nice footages for free of nature and some other uh, stuff you can get them for free completely free on pixels these are copyright free um, files to work on and you can just uh, get some footages as well as some photos so this is how it looks like all right, so let's just click on this file, as you can see, it looks like that. And what I want to do is I want to insert a text here that will be actually uh, expanding while the camera is moving forward. So let me just finish this and then we just move on to the performance of this Acer Nitro 5 in this program. But as you can see now, when I'm just playing this file, I don't see any stutters, and you definitely can edit this. This is really, like a really uh, smooth project to work on. And yeah, so I'll just get this um, file done, and then we just move on to the performance of that. So, see me then. Alright guys, so as you can see, I've edited this file for a while, and this is how it looks like now. Mm, basically what I added is this text here that's tracking the um, the movement of the, the rock and it's just sliding down there. Nothing special but this is my first project in this After Effects program so yeah this is how it looks like. Actually editing on this machine on this in this project was really uh, smooth and I didn't have any issues so far. Now let's also go into the task manager and as you can see in the task manager uh, the CPU is just not fully utilized at all, even when I'm just playing this. Um, we're just sitting around 15 CPU, so 15% of the CPU, so nothing special. But um, when it comes to the memory, look at this. The Adobe After Effects is just taking like uh, 10 gigabytes of memory, which is in my opinion crazy, but okay. Maybe the Adobe applications need a little bit more of the RAM. But overall, this is so snappy, and as you can see, there's no any problem with editing this. Now let me also save this, so we're gonna know how much time it will take to export. Alright, now let's go ahead and click render. And so as you can see, the CPU is just utilized, not even um, with the 30% it's just 24 or something like that and the memory was just at something around 14 gigabytes which is a lot so definitely 16 gigabytes for this Adobe After Effects to work let's go ahead and just open this yeah so as you can see no issues here uh, this text is just keeping its position and uh, that's how it looks like. Okay guys, so since I'm not the best in this After Effects and I, I'm not able to create a more complicated demanding file in the After Effects, I decided to download a template for that, so let's just go and open it up. Okay, so we got a project now, let's hit play. And as you can see, um, this even more complicated project is still really smooth here and you wouldn't have any problem editing this file um so let's just see what are the stats of the cpu and the gpu what's the usage and we're seeing it around 10 percent of the cpu usage so there's not any problem with that uh, the gpu is just not utilized almost at all and the only thing that is just utilized 
a lot is the memory of course we're sitting at around 10 gigabytes so you definitely need to have like the free 10 gigabytes on your hardware to run the after effects projects properly yeah this is how it looks like Alright guys, so now once we know all of this stuff, let's go into the file and click on export, add to the render and now let's also click on render. So it's rendering now and now let's just also see what's the performance of the other components. So when it comes to the CPU, we're just sitting around 50-60% so no big deal here. And the memory is just fully utilized. I don't have a free memory and I'm just pretty worried of crushing this system now. So you definitely need at least 16 GB for this to work. I don't think that on the 8 GB this After Effects will run. As you can see the project is already finished rendering. So now let's go and let's see how this the project looks like. So this is how it looks like. Okay guys, so I think that's it for today's video, I hope that you know now if you're able to run this After Effects on your PC, on your Acer Nitro 5, like the video if you like it, dislike if you don't, and see me in the next video, see you guys.